नंबर टेन ऑफ चैप्टर थर्टी टू वी हैव ए कंडक्टर ऑफ लेंथ एल इट्स ए इन द शेप ऑफ ए सेक्शन ऑफ ए कोन विथ सर्कुलर क्रॉस सेक्शन एंड द रेडियस ऑफ दिस क्रॉस सेक्शन इट वेरीज लीनियरली फ्रॉम ए टू बी तो दिस इज काइंड ऑफ ए लाइक ए स्ट्रेट लाइन यू सी द क्रॉस सेक्शन हियर इट्स अ स्ट्रेट लाइन रेडियस हियर इज ए रेडियस हियर इज बी द लेंथ ऑफ दिस कॉनिक सेक्शन सेक्शन ऑफ ए कोन इज एल and we need to find the resistance of this conductor given that its resistivity is rho if in this kind of uh, variable problem usually we need to make use of a uh, concept of the calculus and that's what we are going to do here in this problem so the first thing we need to know that in this whole section look at this small part of it this part this much of part and we are going to try to find out actually you can think of this part this whole section of this going from here to here but for now just think about this much of part it is that and we have drawn an x axis and y axis to make our calculations easy and this is a small strip of length d of width dx and consider this strip that has a height of y so it's actually a circular kind of a circular disk and that disk will have a radius of y and a thickness of dx and that disk will have a resistance and we are trying to find out the resistance of that thin circular disk we know that the resistance of a resistance is given by r is equal to rho l upon a so, so for this small disk the resistance we are calling as dr an infinitesimal resistance dr that will depend upon the infinitesimal thickness dx it's given by rho the thickness is dx divided by the area of the, the cross section of this disk and since its radius is y so its area is going to be pi r square or pi into y square so this is the most basic thing that you need to do for all these kind of problems that has continuous variable and then when you integrate this dr term over the whole from x equal to 0 to x equal to l or y equal to a to y equal to b then we get the results <sighs> now closely look at this equation again rho is constant throughout the length as we vary from here to go from here to here y remains constant but y is changing y is changing from a to b and we are given that this is linearly varying what does mean by linearly varying it means that the value of y can be expressed in terms of x as a straight line and what that straight line equation looks like y is equal to mx plus c c is the intercept on the y axis which is a in the kis case and m is the gradient or the slope of this line which we can find by the the change in the y which is b minus a divided by the change in the x which is l so this is the equation of y so now to solve this equation there are two ways we can do it number 1 we can express this y in terms of x which looks like a little becomes a little difficult because this thing uh, has a lot of term 1 upon then x square x plus a square whole term if we can possibly express the whole thing in terms of y then things can possibly become easier so y stays here and when we change dx to in terms of dy which we can do by differentiating this relationship if you differentiate this relationship with this then you get dy is equal to b minus l into dx 
and the constant A gets eliminated. We can write this dx as equal to L into dy divided by B minus A here. L into B minus A multiplied by here. Now, the equation is easier to integrate. R is equal to integral of dr. Rho L pi B minus A whole thing is constant and they hold this whole thing gets outside. Only we need to integrate dy with respect to 1 upon y square. And the integration of y square, y to the power minus 1, minus 2, is minus y to the power of minus 1. And when we substitute b and a value, you get minus 1 upon b plus minus minus 1 upon a, which is plus 1 upon a. So it's 1 upon a minus 1 upon b or b minus a divided by ab. So b minus a, b minus cancel gets cancelled. You get the answer rho l upon pi ab. So the whole concept for solving all this continuous variable problem is to find a result for an infinitesimally small thin area, express it in terms of this everything else constants and variables and then integrate the whole equation.